This is the interface of ArcGlow, which is almost similar as like Google Earth. By using ArcGlow, we can add satellite image with level and also OpenStreetMap and also shapefile to see the accuracy of our projection and also KML files. By using ArcGlow, we can do many more things. Let's see how to start with ArcGlow and what we can do by using ArcGlow. Let's see from the beginning. We already know about ArcGIS package, same as like ArcMap, ArcGlobe also exists in ArcGIS package. So to start ArcGlobe, we need to go all program and find ArcGlobe. Here is the interface of ArcGlobe, almost similar like Google Earth. We can zoom in, zoom out by scrolling. The interface is almost same like ArcMap. This one is table of content as like ArcMap. These portions are menu bar. This is the tool. Now, first of all, let's see how to add OpenStreetMap as a base map in ArcGlobe which is almost difficult in Google Earth. Go to add data. Click add base map. Now click open street map. Click add. Open street map is added successfully. But as like arc map, there is a layer issue in arc globe also. See this imagery layer showing this layer and if we uncheck below this layer we can see open street map layer. If we drag this layer on the upper side of imagery then it will be visible. So first time when we add open street map layer in here it will be open below the imagery layer. We need to click and drag this on the upper side of imagery layer so that it could be visible. Here is our open street map in our globe. Now I am scrolling to zoom in. As like same way, we can add imagery with level we can add also another base map so now i am going to add imagery with level it is added successfully this is our satellite image layer now let's see how to add shape file in our globe to see the accuracy of the projection of that shape file. Same as like arc map. In here, click add data. Now browse your shape file. Here I am going to add this shape file name USA counties. Click add. Then click finish. In the table of content, this shape file is added below this all base map layer. To make this visible, we need to drag this on the upper side of these layers. Now our shape file is visible. Not only that, same as like arc map, we can change the symbology, the features color of this shape file. But before that, as we can see, the projection of this shape file is accurate. This is a map of USA and it is showing the accurate place in USA which means the projection is accurate. 
Now let's change the color of features. I'm going to symbology categories. I will change the color based on state name. Add all values. Apply. OK. The colors has changed based on state name. Now let's see how to add KML file in this arc loop. To add KML, we need to go customize in menu bar, then click toolbars and click KML. This is the KML toolbar. In here, we can see an option add KML data. Click here, we need to add this KML named US states. Now click open. The KML is added below those all layers. To see this KML, we need to drag this on the upper side of all layer. Here is our KML. To see the data inside this KML, we need to go identify tool and then click any state. This is the data of this feature, state name, state FIPs, subregion, and so on. So in here, we can see base map overlaying our shape file in our globe. This is the power of our globe. Not only that, there are many more functions inside our globe. Let's see the tools of our globe. This is the tools of our globe. This one is navigate tool. By using this, we can click and navigate the area. To see its functionality, we need to zoom in. And let's uncheck open state, check only our globe layer. This is the use of navigate tool. This one is pen. Let's move to the region of Bangladesh and India to see more functions of our globe. We can see 3D view of hilly area in this R globe. How? Let's see. By using this fly option, we can fly in any hilly area, which is a nice option in this R globe. This one is fly. By using fly, you can fly through the globe any direction and at different speed. You can hold shift while flying to maintain a constant elevation. And you can press escape at any time to immediately stop movement. So let's fly in the hilly area of India. I want to fly here. Just click here. Now click again here to zoom in. I want to go there. That is why I am clicking here. If I move right, it will fly right. If I move left, it will fly left. It is so interesting, is not it? You can fly anywhere in this hilly area by using fly option.
if you want to go a particular point say i want to go this point of this hill area see this option set observer use it click here now i am standing this point if i want to go this point and want to see another area just imagine yourself in this point by clicking here now you have gone to this upper portion of this area in this hill by using this function you can digitally visit everest also is not it so interesting let's go to this area i want to go to this point of this hill wow it's really nice view let's click full extent there are more option in this arc globe like effect let's see we want to go in this us state and let's add us county our shape file in this effect layer we can select us county and increase the percentage of transparency can you see this magic Let's add open street map. By using transparency, we can see both arc globe layer and open street map layer also by changing the transparency let's check this open street map is accurate or not in this area yes this one is accurate So these are the power of our globe. Maximum of us know about our map. Do we know about this our globe and its these functionalities which are very interesting and usable to identify the projection of our shape file or KML file to see that 3D view of any area using fly. You can make also animation by using this our globe. So this is all about our globe. Do this practically. You will enjoy this more. As like, enjoy GIS. Have a nice day. Thank you.